welcome to my first tutorial on my uh, flowy effects channel it it's not flowy effects or flower effects <laughs> so in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you guys how to make text and with the animations so I already set up the audio with the keyframes because that's super boring <laughs> the the music will be in the, the description down below Oh yeah, and one disclaimer, if you never used After Effects before, um, go watch some other tutorials for the basics, like how to use the pen tool or something, just basic stuff. So we're gonna start off with the, the text tool, and we're gonna choose a nice font. I'm gonna use uh, Prime Time for this one, and I'm gonna make the text um, tutorial. And you can make the Agner point centered with Control Alt Home, and here align, and then make the scale a, li a little bit higher. And yeah, I pre-compose a lot, so <laughs> we're gonna pre-compose this to text one, and make sure that that the the thing is is did this, not not this, but this, yeah. <laughs> So now you have it pre-composed, um, we're gonna add a gradient ramp to this. Swap the colors and make this like uh, a little bit lighter. Do this. Just make it when you like it. And when you like it, just pre-compose it. Then we're gonna add a inner shadow with the opacity on like 25 minus... Oh, Oops, minus 90, and this are like uh, 20. I'll make this 22. And if you like it, go pre compose it again. So then I'm gonna you uh, add a stroke, make this like 30, 20. Yeah, I'll make it 25. And I'm gonna make this intro blue, <laughs> as always. <laughs> you can change it later. It's really easy. Then you're gonna duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D, then deleting the layer style, and then do a drop shadow on it. I use my own preset. These are my settings for the drop shadow. So now you have a sick drop shadow right here. Precompose them again. So then I precompose it again because now it's time for echo space or echo space. So put it on, I'll do the do it to third setup, I'll do it like 20, because if you do it more, my computer doesn't like to pre-render. I just mess around a bit with the settings, this looks good. Adjustment layer, I'll do hue and saturation on it, and make this uh, 10, 15, what you like. And then you have this basic text, and I always forget to put warp on it, but now I remembered. Let's do it like uh, 15. And do the vertical distortion. Uh, 10, I don't know. Then pre-compose it again with text 6. Then I always do stroke, make this white or black. I like it white. And then do it again. Just delete this one and do a drop shadow on top of it. Precompose it again. This is gonna be our main text. So now you have made your text. Now we're gonna animate it. Then we're gonna go all the way to this one. Oh, oops. And we're gonna paste the, the music here. And then this is gonna be really boring but we're gonna make shapes from every single letter so I'll be right back and we're gonna do that with uh, right clicking and shapes from text and now we're just gonna delete every single letter besides the letter itself So my idea was to make the 
to make these four letters pop out. The two letters from the right and the left, that they are like gonna pop out of them. And then, yeah, there's gonna be a little spin. So I'm gonna click on the eye for the first two and the last two, so we can't see them. We're gonna make the Agner point for every single letter centered, so Control alt home and we're gonna have it end right here I think and here make it zero and yeah move it a little bit and then select them all and press F9 to easy ease them open the graph editor you can use motion v2 if you want to if you want but I don't have it I always just do it like this and now we have this So these are done, so now we can hide those and we can show these ones. Okay, so now we're gonna keyframe the T and yeah, make the Agner point to the center. So then you wanna separate the dimensions, I don't know why but yeah and you wanna have the place where it's on now you wanna click on the little stopwatch and you're gonna go to the beat and you're gonna place it to the middle and it is 960 for me with this resolution then I'm gonna keyframe the scale and yeah then easy easy it F9 and then ease them okay so I made the text animation and it's like this the U and the A are coming the U and the A are just skills and that's all no positioning and the L and the T are with the position and the skill so now we're gonna show everything and we're gonna move the the first animation on top of the second animation so it's like this and now we're done with the first animation and now I'm gonna make the text smaller because it's pretty big and a lot of people complain about it so I'll yeah <laughs> So I add a little spin to it right here and it gets a little bit smaller but that's just the easiest to do, just rotate it and yeah, animate it. So um, this, this is uh, the end result. So yeah, thanks for watching, leave a like if you like the tutorial. Um, yeah, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> and bye!